Sheesh, we have had a swamped day of NFL news. Sadly, it's midterm week for me in college, so I have not had the time to react to all these news reactions, but this signing particularly stood out to me. Corey Lindsay being signed to the Chargers for the biggest contract in the NFL at the offensive line position as a whole. And the reason this stuck out to me is, as a Seahawks fan, I'm, I can see firsthand that you cannot overvalue the offensive center position. Because a lot of times as football fans, we focus on, oh, the Packers are going to be good again. They re-signed their running back, Aaron Jones. And back when the Seahawks traded their all-pro center, Max Unger, you know, most of the reaction was, oh, they're bringing in Jimmy Graham. These Seahawks are about to go on a crazy run. But the game of football... I'm never going to act like, you know, I'm some ultimate expert of all these X's and O's because I haven't played it past like a kid's level. I just watch it. But I could say, I could say clearly from watching it that the offensive line and, and defensive line are very underrated, especially amongst fans. And this is going to be tough from the Packers perspective first. This is going to be tough. You know, when Aaron Jones got re-signed to four years, 40 million. I didn't really say it was good or bad because in a vacuum, four years for $40 million for one of the better running backs in the league, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. You know, could have been a little less because, you know, looking at Derek Henry, he's only getting four years for $50 million. So they could have got a little bit less. But at the same time, four years, 48, that's not bad. That's not bad for what he gives you. But now that you're seeing that the Packers are losing their offensive lineman, all pro, center, it's not worth it. It's not. Now the Aaron Jones signing looks bad because we've seen Jamal Williams go in and have some great games. They just drafted a, a high, with a high draft pick, A.J. Dillon, who had some moments by the end of the year. So now, for me, as if you're a Packers fan, you've got to be regretting that deal for Aaron Jones because you've got to do what you can to protect Aaron Rodgers. And I feel like this is going to be a move that gets overlooked. You know, people don't really talk about it because it's an offensive line. But losing an all-pro lineman... That's just as, if not more important, as losing an all-pro running back or receiver, even though that'll be focused on much more. But for the Chargers, you've got to applaud them for bringing it in. You know, highest paid lineman in the league, but at the same time, line is a position to me, it's tough to overpay. You know, we put all the value on these receivers, running backs, because those are the guys that we like to watch, but he's going to be giving Justin Herbert protection, and as a young quarterback, that is what's key. Because for the Seahawks, where they really started to fall off was when they made that trade for Max Unger. Things started to go left, and Russell Wilson, that's reason really the start of why he's had is why it's looking like he might get traded now, because since then he hasn't been protected nearly the way he should. And for Aaron Rodgers, it's gonna get a lot tougher. But for Justin Herbert, it's gonna get a whole lot easier because these teams that win the Super Bowl and get far. A lot of times, it's not some great running back or receiver that is so renowned that they took him there. You know, this Buccaneers team, they had great receivers. But you know what they had just as good as that? An amazing offensive line. You know, the Chiefs these past years, we saw, you know, everyone overlooked. Oh, Fisher got hurt, hurt and that was barely even people talked about. Even though he's not an elite level like Lindsey is, not even. But you saw him going out, made that offensive line to where... Patrick Mahomes looked nothing like he usually does because he had no time back there to throw it. Time after time, these teams that are in the Super Bowl and at the top, the Eagles a few years ago, they don't have the, most of the times they don't have the top weapons, the top running back. You know, their top running back was LeGarrette Blunt. Their top receiver, Alshon Jeffrey, I think. I don't even remember if they had him at that time. I, it was a while ago. I'm going off the top of my head. But regardless, these top, we're, everyone's talking about the Packers need a number two receiver and I think they should get a number two receiver, but losing out on that, oh, that's big. And for the Saints in that Max Unger deal, that's where they turned it around and went from, you know, where they struggled the first couple years of Sean Payton back, and then they started to go on a great run of where it was disappointing that they never won a Super Bowl, but really a resurgence for Drew Brees. And for Justin Herbert, it's key for him that he's going to have an all-pro guy right in front of him. And whether they are able to bring in star receivers and stuff, you know that he has the talent to get to these guys and make them better. All you need, what you need at least first, is guys in front of him that are going to give him the time to drop back and make those great throws that he can make. So for the Chargers, I applaud it. You can't really overpay a center. It's hard to do that at least, an all-pro center. And for the Packers, I'm, 
I'm starting to worry. It's it's much harder to rebuild an offensive lineman than it is to replace a running back, especially when they have Jamal Williams and AJ AJ Dillon. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please, yes sir.